Hello and welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss the enhancement which has been done on visual calculation in October 2024 release. There are few enhancements which has been rolled out on the visual calculation and one of them is using the field parameters along with visual calculations which we are going to explore today. So let's jump onto the release note, look at what are the new features which has been given for visual calculations and we will explore them onto the Power BI desktop. I am here on the Power BI October 2024 feature summary and in this feature summary one of the feature which you will find under the content reporting is visual calculation update preview. Once we click on that we go down it talks about combo charts are now supported. In the visual calculation now the combo chart are supported so you can now use visual calculation in combo chart such as line and cluster column chart just you could in the other chart types here is an example of visual calculation reporting moving average for three quarters so one example has been given for combo visual where we can see the moving average has been added on the line three quarters moving average has been used on the line of combo visual line clustered column chart And the another feature which we are looking forward mainly for today is field parameters are now supported. This month we have enabled the visual calculation with field parameters. You can add visual calculation to the visual containing field parameters or vice versa. Field parameters can be used to quickly switch around what's shown in the visual. For example, you can create field parameter to enable your users to decide which attribute dimension to show. For example, field parameter called product attribute can be used to determine the percentage of grant total. You have the percentage of grand total which is using rows and you can switch the axis using the field parameter and it will continue to work. Another update is faster ways to add templated visual calculation. You can now add templated visual calculation with fewer clicks by clicking on the button as part of new visual calculation. Previously to get the visual template you have to go to the visual calculation and there you have the option to choose the template from the calculation. Now the template option is available directly under the new visual calculation under the home tab and you can use it from there. You can also start new calculation without template using custom option. So these are some of the updates. Let me jump onto a Power BI file and showcase you these uh, updates. So I am here on the Power BI file. This is the file where I have already done some visual calculations in the past. Also I am using the dark mode which is recently released. So you can see that my UIs of the Power BI are in the dark mode. First of all, I am going to add a new page into this UI and I will take you through the features one by one. First of all, let me add a table visual. So I am going to add a table visual and inside the table visual, let me bring in brand and the major net. I have a visual brand with the net and let's say I want to add a visual calculation. How do we add a visual calculation? I have to go to the home tab and inside the home tab, I have new visual calculation. And as you can see the new feature which is already been discussed that you have the access to the template quickly you don't have to go to the calculation and choose one of them so let's choose percentage of grand total as one of the calculation so using that template we have come here directly you can see we have percentage of grand total and i can use net as my major collapse all function is going to give me the grand total net again and axis is rows that remains dynamic now I got my percentage of total now you are not seeing percentage and I'll tell you the new feature which will enable you to see it in the percentage format also that came very recently few months back. Let's go back now we would like to format this percentage of total so click on this go to the format I have opened the format now inside the format go to properties and inside the properties data format choose the percentage of grand total the data type is decimal the format is percentage once you choose the percentage format in the decimal data type you will be able to see in the percentage format we have saw one more feature and that the feature is it is supported on combo visual so let's make this chart as line cluster and let's try to move this percentage of grand total from the column of y-axis line y-axis visual is now showing percentage of total along with the net what we can do now is we can sort this visual on brand and observe it again let's sort this on brand we can observe the visual again. Now we can see net as well as percentage of grand total together. Now to make it little more interesting where you can differentiate what line is doing versus what bar is doing. 
Let's convert this line into percentage of running total line. So let's edit this calculation. And how do we get running total? So we have another template for running total, but we do have a function running sum. On the top, I'll take running sum axis as rows. So let's divide running sum by total. And let me go back to the report and let me sort this on the brand ascending. And yeah, as you can see, this is now showing me running percentage of total. We are able to explore the second feature also. Let me convert this visual into table. So we have a calculation net. We have a percentage of grand total, which is actually not percentage of grand total, which is percentage of running total. And I would also like to add one more function, offset function or index function. I'll add one more calculation here. That calculation is last. So what is there in the last? So I can use offset function calculate. We have previous here, but I would like to use offset here. Net comma offset minus one relation is rows order by is net bsc actually i wanted to have a specific order by and that is why i used this offset function for last row when i go back to the report now this function for that i need the sorting on the net if you see if i do the sorting on the net it's giving me the last row let's do one thing let's duplicate this visual because they both need different sorting and now from the first visual i can remove the last row from the second visual i can remove percent of running total sort first visual on brand and second visual on net the reason for this change is because one of my visual calculation is working on the axis another one is working on the major sorting now what i would like to do is i would like to make both these visuals dynamic by using field parameters so i would like to change the axis slash row and see that the calculation is still holds true so for that i would now like to create field parameter that is going to change my categorical variable or access to do that i will go to modeling new parameters fields i'm going to create access let me call it as access one and here i'm going to select some item table brand category subcategory from geography table i will select state and city i will leave this option add slicer to this page as is i would like it to add and then i can now click on create to create my field parameter field parameter will add a table with a special syntax which enables us to use the field parameters this i have explained in the past also now we got the field parameter we also got a slicer we would like to utilize it let me first of all adjust it a little bit now we have adjusted our visual but our visual are not following any access isn't it let's go ahead and change the visuals to use access I go to the first visual and I will go to axis, drag axis one and remove brand. I will do the same in the second visual. I'll click on the second visual, drag axis and remove brand. Visual is sorted on axis or categorical variable and second one is sorted on the major. Now let's change the axis. Both the visuals should change. If I change the axis one, I change it to category. As you can observe in the first visual, we are still getting the current percentage of running total it is still rolling up to the hundred percent so you can observe in the second visual that we are still getting the correct prior with the help of field parameters access has changed or the row has changed or the categorical variable has changed but still we are able to see the last row value based on visual calculation which we don't have to change let's look at state when we look at the state calculation again, you can see my percentage of running total is still working. As well as you can observe that the prior calculations are still working fine. We are still getting the previous row value in spite of change in the categorical variable slash axis. So look at how simple and quick calculation we have done. And those quick calculations have not only worked with what categorical variables or what axis or what row we had in that visual. Even when we changed it, it continued to work. And the last item before we conclude for today, let's have more than one. And does it continue to work? As you can see, calculations are still working. And this is the beauty of visual calculation. And we can say visual calculations are better together with calculation group. So why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this particular video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comment, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.